Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how many electrons each electron energy shell can hold, and then we'll talk about orbitals and how you come up with this number. Okay? The electron energy shells can be numbered one or named one or two ways. They can be numbered one through seven based on their principal quantum number, or they can use alphabetical notation K through Q. Next, Within the energy shell, you have orbitals. The electrons don't go around the nucleus like it looks like in this picture, like planets around the sun, but instead they go in orbitals. And each shell has so many orbitals. And the orbitals are S, P, D, F. Technically, there is a G and an H, but there's no non-element that has electrons in, the, in these, although in theory they exist. And if you'll notice, they go up. So with the S orbital, you have two electrons, and that's kind of its shape. Then it goes up by four. The P actually has three orbitals that hold two electrons for a total of six. D, notice how it goes up by four, has five uh, orbitals with two electrons each for a total of 10, and then F has seven orbitals, and each can hold two for a total of 14. Now, once we know this, so you have shells, and then you have orbitals, okay? First, there is a formula that you can use to figure out how many electrons each shell uses, and it's two times n squared, and n is the principal quantum number. So I'll talk about that, and then there's another way using the orbitals. So let's get started on that. Okay, now let's take a look at two ways that you can figure out how many uh, electrons each energy shell can hold. The first, you can use the formula 2 times n squared, and n is the principal quantum number. Or if you'd like, it's just the shell number. So I've worked out each of these. In the first example, we have 2 times 1 squared, which is 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. In the second one, 2 squared is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. Then the third one, 3 squared is 9, 2 times 9 is 18. This one, oops, I kind of messed up. 4 squared is 16. 32, and you can see the pattern here, okay? So this formula, 2 times n squared, will help you know how many electrons in each shell. Another way is, is you can use the orbitals, okay? And the orbitals, the first orbital, the s or orbital, and it goes up s, p, d, f, g, h, and it goes once the s orbital holds two electrons, and then the P, you go up by four, so that's six. Let's go up by four again. That's 10. That's 14. That's 18. And then the last one is, what is that? 22. Okay. So, okay. And you may have seen this configuration. You have, basically, you write down one through seven and then the next column, you go 2 through 7, 3 through 7, 4, 5, 6, and 7 at the end. And then it goes uh, S, then SP, SPD, and you go in this particular order. And then when you do the electron configuration, you use these lines. But I'm not going to focus on using this to see how many electrons are in each shell. So electron shell 1, you have a 1S. Remember, S holds 2, so you have 2. In the second energy level, you have an S and a P. So S is 2, P, remember, is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, and notice it's the same as if you use the formula 2N squared, okay? I'm just going to go to 4. Notice that we have an S, we have a P, which is 6, and then we have a D, and remember, D is 10. When you add this together, 2 plus 6 plus 10, that's 18, and it's the same as this. In this last one we'll do, we have a 2, then we have a 6, and then we have a 10, and then the F 
uh, is 14. When you add this together, we have 18 plus 14, which is equal to uh, 32. And if you did the same thing here, you would get 50. Same thing here, we would go 72 and then 98. Okay, so again, I just wanted to show you for each energy shell, you can use the formula 2n squared. And then also you get a little idea because remember in each shell you have different orbitals. And each orbital can hold a different number of electrons. And then you can use this chart to come up with the same numbers. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.